Are you having trouble playing online on your Nintendo Switch with your friends? If you're having trouble connecting in an online match or even a peer-to-peer -peer connection between two Nintendo Switch consoles and you're getting the unable to connect with others error, this guide is for you. In this video, we'll show you the known solutions to this problem. Fix number 1. Check the Nintendo server status. The first thing you should do to fix a problem is check the status of Nintendo's servers. You need to go to the official website for Nintendo. There are three tabs on that site, Online Service Status, Maintenance Information, and Future Maintenance Schedule. On the Online Service Status tab, you can see how the servers are doing right now. If there are any problems with the servers, you should look here. The Maintenance Information and Future Maintenance Schedule tabs are both about scheduled and unplanned maintenance that Nintendo or game developers may do. Use any or all of these tabs to find out more about the problem you are having. Fix number 2. Check for Software Update it's easy to install updates. In fact, it's very easy to update both your games and the firmware on your Nintendo Switch. If your system is running an old version, it will ask you to update it, and all you have to do is agree to download and install the update. Games are the same way, but you can also follow these steps at any time to see if your Nintendo Switch is missing an update. Go to your Nintendo Switch homepage. Go to System Settings menu. Select System. Select System Update. If you just can't get a certain online game to work, make sure it's up to date. Here's how to check if your Nintendo Switch is up to date. Go to your Nintendo Switch homepage. Highlight the game tile. Press the plus or minus button on your controller. Select software update. Select via the internet. Fix number 3, reboot your console. When you get an unexpected error on your Nintendo Switch console, you can also try restarting it. Hold down the power button on top of the console for a few seconds to turn off the system completely. After doing that, the power menu will appear. The power menu should have three choices, the sleep mode, the power options, and the close option. To reboot completely, choose power options and then restart from this menu. Wait a few seconds while the device reboots. After that, reconnect the Nintendo Switch console to the internet to see if the problem is fixed. Fix number 4, power cycle your modem or router. The next simple thing to do is to turn off and on your network devices. To do this, turn off the modem or wireless router and unplug it from the power source for at least 30 seconds. This should make sure that the tiny capacitors use up all the electricity, which in turn refreshes the memory. Fix number 5, run a speed test. The goal is to find out if your internet connection is having trouble right now. If you think there's a problem, like a slow internet connection or a connection that drops every now and then, or if your network devices are acting strangely, you should call your internet service provider for help. Follow these steps to check your Nintendo Switch's network settings and whether or not it's connected. Go to your Nintendo Switch homepage. Go to System Settings menu. Select Internet. Select Test Connection option. Allow your Nintendo Switch to perform a test. The download speed is a very important thing to keep in mind. If you want to play online games reliably on your console, you should have at least 5 Mbps of both download and upload speed. If your download speed is too slow, you might not be able to connect to other players or consoles or play with them. Fix number 6. Relocate the console closer to the router. The Nintendo Switch works best when it's not more than 30 feet from the router. If your Switch is farther away from the router or if there are many things that could interfere with the signal between it and the router, like thick walls, glass, metal, or other electronic devices, you might want to move it closer to the router. If it still won't connect to the internet even though the Wi-Fi signal is strong, move on to the next step. Fix number 7. Use a wired connection. An Ethernet cable connection to the router is a viable alternative to wireless networking. If you can get a hardwired internet connection, that's ideal since you won't have to worry about wireless signals interfering with your data transfer. Keep in mind that the original Nintendo Switch does not allow using an Ethernet cable. You'll need to purchase an Ethernet adapter and plug it into the dock if you want to give this configuration a try. Fix number 8, use a different DNS. It's common knowledge that ISP run DNS servers aren't as reliable as publicly hosted ones like Google. Your Nintendo Switch may benefit from using Google DNS or another third party DNS if you're still experiencing internet connectivity issues. The steps are as follows Go to your Nintendo Switch homepage, go to System Settings menu, select Internet, and then go to Internet Settings. Once you have the registered networks list, select your own network by pressing a then, select change settings, scroll down to DNS settings and select it. Then, select manual, go to primary DNS, enter 888.8 for primary DNS. Then, go to secondary DNS, enter 884.4, then press OK. 
that's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel, or share this video to your friends.